I'm Shannon and today I'm going to be doing a wig dyeing video which I have not done in a quite a long time. As always, my wig today is going to be from VP Fashion, which is an amazing company that I've worked with for a very long time that makes extensions as well as full lace front wigs. Today, like I said, we're working on a full lace front wig, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like on my head, just crudely popping it on before I do anything to it, so give me one second. Alright, I am back and obviously I still got the lace on. I'm gonna keep her on until the very end after I've dyed everything. Um, but yes, this is her. This is she on my head. Right now it is a 613A is the color, so it's a very light white blonde. But if you didn't check out the title or the thumbnail, which I know you did, but just in case, Today I'm going to be trying a trend that I've been putting off for a long time because I'm scared I'm going to screw it up. Chances are we're going to screw it up anyways today. For those interested, we are going to be trying that chroma color rainbow chromatic prism look. I don't know what to call it, so boom, that. Now this is something I've seen Guy Tang do, every Instagram baddie on the web is doing this at the moment and like I said. I don't have guy tank skills by any means, so it's just gonna be me attempting, attempting this. You're welcome to come on the journey with me. Like I always say, I'm not a professional, but um, we're just having fun here. So, now that you know what we're doing, the first step of this wig is going to be toning it with a purple shampoo. Da -da -da -da. I'm also going to be trying a method that I ha I, I feel so stupid with this lace. <laughs> I'm also going to be trying a method that I have not tried on this channel and actually never tried with a wig before at all. I'm going to be trying to bucket dye it. So I'm going to fill a bucket up with water, mix in some of this purple shampoo, and then just completely submerge this wig. So without further ado, I'm gonna fill up a bucket of water in my shower, so I'll see you in my shower. <laughs> yeah! Hey friends, what's going on? I'm here. I've got a bucket full of water, and I've got my shimmer lights, and so, I'm just gonna squeeze some in here. Okay, I don't want to go too purple. I don't want it to turn this color, so I think that's enough. I'm just gonna submerge this bad girl right on in there now. Here she is. All right, well, I can already see the brassiness leaving some, like the ends of the hair. This, if, if the shampoo is going to work, it's gonna take a while. So I'm gonna give this about half an hour in here and then come check on it. Hello, voiceover Shannon here. So I know I said about 30 minutes on this, but I actually left it close to 30 hours, which I know is a really long time if you're not patient, but it was the perfect silver color. For the rainbow, these are the colors that I'm going to be using and I'm gonna be diluting them all with a ton of conditioner. A ton, because you guys really got on me for my last pastel video saying it wasn't pastel. This will be, I swear. At this point, I'm gonna be using some foils to section out the hair that I wanna do the rainbow pieces on. I'm doing some messy sectioning just so it falls kinda how it falls and looks a little more of like that prism look rather than just like some rainbow streaks. I ended up doing about 10 of these rainbow sections, I think 10 is correct. So I'm gonna let you guys just watch and enjoy because it's pretty self-explanatory from here on out.
are back and this is the final product. Super rainbow bright and I'm super happy with her. She's so pretty. Ah! At this point, I'm gonna be applying this wig how I actually apply my wigs if I'm going out. I'm starting with a bedhead. I don't even really know what it is, a wax stick to slick my hair down. And then I'm applying a wig cap with some got to be glued hairspray to make sure it really sticks. On top of that, I'm using the Got To Be Glued Super Hold Gel and gelling down my hair again. Really gotta stick this thing down. Using a hair dryer, I'm gonna blow dry it on low just to make sure it gets kind of tacky before I actually put the lace down because I really want this baby to stick. Apply a little pressure around the hairline and add a little more gel if you need it. One last round of hairspray and one more round of hair drying and we are good to go! Except for the fact that when I bucket dyed this wig, the lace turned purple, so keep that in mind if you're gonna do this. I've gotta use a little bit of my concealer, foundation, and setting powder just to cover up that purple lace. But from here on out, we are good to go! This is the finished product. Get that thing out of here. I love it so much. I'm so excited. I hope this turned out how you guys envisioned it and that it's pastel enough for you because it's pastel enough for me this time. I really like it. I hope you do too. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Also, really quick before I go, I want to give a big shout out to all of my patrons who are making all of my videos and music videos and everything that I do possible right now. I want to give an extra special shout out to my tier 2 patrons, which are Emerson, Hannah, Damien, and Jonathan. And the most special shout out to my tier 3 patrons who are really making this all possible. Liz, Cynthia, and Ashlyn. Thank you again to my patrons. I love you so much and I'll see you later. Bye!